In this video, we're going to talk about elbow tension at the piano. Now, elbow tension is something that is extremely common, and I get probably dozens of comments all the time with people who are asking how to alleviate elbow tension. And there's a few reasons why this happens. Now, the most prominent reason this happens is because of misalignment of the arm which essentially means that the elbow is being held in a weird position. And I'll show you what that means. So for instance, if my arm is properly aligned at all times, then my elbow is essentially going to be behind my hand. But what happens is if the elbow is being held in a stiff position, the elbow is gonna be out like this, and, and, and so it's not behind my hand, essentially you can see that, but it's also being held up like this, which is another reason. So for instance, I can have a stiff elbow, okay? So see how my elbow is not moving as I move around the keyboard? And that's going to tend to make the elbow a little bit tense. But I can also, and that is also an issue of misalignment. However, I can also hold the elbow up like so, raised as it were, which is gonna cause all of this to get really, really tense. So I see this uh, a lot, pretty much on, Almost every young pianist that I see play, or a student, right? They play like this with the elbows like this. And part of the reason I think that this happens is that when we start playing piano, we always start right at middle C. Now this is actually bad in some ways because when we start at middle C, when we sit at the middle of the piano, our elbows have to be out to the side, okay? And we play like this when we're little so often that our arm gets used to this position Okay, so my arm's kind of like um, in this position, so it's got this curve to it where my elbow is always out to the side. And the issue is that as then we start moving away from that, we keep that position. So notice that my elbow is always staying out to the side. So one thing that I like to do with my young students, instead of having them play here, even if the music is written there, I'll have them play it here, an octave higher. Okay, so now their elbow can be right behind the hand and they can learn what that feels like. Let's go back to that middle C position. If I play like this, what I want to do is I want to bring my elbow in as far as I possibly can so that it's sort of like tight to my torso like this. Not in a stiff, awkward way, but I just want to bring the elbow in. Now there's a, an important thing to note here is that <clears throat> when you first try to do this, it's going to feel like you have to squeeze that elbow in and it'll feel awkward. But eventually, so for instance, when I do that, it doesn't actually feel like I'm pulling my elbow in. It feels like it just goes right there because that's actually what happens. Sometimes our muscles can get so used to being in a certain position that it feels relaxed, but it's actually not relaxed. There's a thing called motory sensory amnesia, which sounds really complicated, but basically this idea is, is that sometimes muscles will be, get so used to tension or moving in a certain way that they actually don't feel tense or they don't feel awkward when they move in that way because it's like they don't remember what it feels like to, to move without tension essentially. And that's kind of um, the idea here is, is that you can be so used to playing like this that it feels normal, it feels good, it feels natural. When you learn to not hold the elbow out, like for instance this, gravity will literally just bring my elbow down like this, okay? So I'm not actually really pulling the elbow in so much as it's just falling down because my muscles are not in a stiff position. Now the other thing that's important to note, of course, is if I sit at the piano, I can lean over a little bit. Now my arm can be perfectly straight here, even at middle C. So it's important to uh, learn to let the elbow go in that sense so that the elbow can be behind the hand, okay? Now the other issue, of course, is keeping the elbow in a stiff position. Notice my elbow is not really moving, it's sort of rotating here, but it's not moving like that. That can also make that elbow tense because it's holding things in place that will actually work easier if they move like so, okay? And that of course goes back to that concept of alignment, which is basically that we wanna make sure that that elbow is behind the hand, okay? So it's always moving. And what this means is, like I talked about with the other concept, is that as we move down the keyboard, the elbow has to release and come with the hand, okay? Now there's two important concepts that I think uh, need to be understood and I want to go into a little bit more detail here. And that's that as we move around the keyboard, we wanna think about our elbow always releasing, okay? So if I'm coming down the keyboard playing an arpeggio or something, my elbow releases downward each time I play a note. See how my elbow is just releasing down and coming down the keyboard. 
And you'll also notice that this is what we've talked about before, uh, an issue of alignment, making sure that the elbow is aligning behind each finger so it's sort of shifting down as we play. But it's important if you have a lot of elbow tension to think of it as a sort of release sort of motion. We also notice that as I, as I play higher on the keyboard, I actually lean over. So my, my upper arm is hanging down and this is actually where gravity would actually just put my elbow. So this is another important concept to understand is that as it goes down, and I shift down, if my elbow doesn't move, I'm actually holding it against gravity. If I just let it go, then it moves down. Okay, so as I move, so when I play, it actually doesn't feel like my elbow's in this position and then I release it and then it's in, the, in this position. It almost just feels like it's just loose and free the whole time, okay? So one really good way to practice this and how I learned to start developing this in my technique is to just make sure that the elbow follows behind the hand. So it's always this kind of a thing, right? So it always moves like this. You know, you wanna be aware of what it feels like. If it still feels tense, then it means that there's, there's still tension in there, okay? Over time, that will get less and less. But what you wanna do is if you're playing and you're trying to make sure that the elbow is moving, so staying behind the hand as it comes down the keyboard, if you feel like it's a little tense, you can just kind of shake it out and just kind of do one of these things. You know, I'll kind of just like push my elbow out and see, if, does it just kind of move around or does it feel stiff? Sometimes I'll even do this on a student. I'll say, okay, just, just sit there, just sit there. And then I'll just kind of like push their elbow out. Like, what does that feel like? And they're like, oh, that actually feels pretty good. It feels like it's loose. So you have to, um, think about the way it visually looks on the keyboard, in the way it moves, and the angles, let's say. But you also have to think about what it feels like, and this is a really important thing when it comes to getting rid of tension, like I've said probably a million times before, is that the lack of tension should be felt. And if you if you can't, then of course you might have even more issues where the, the tension is so just natural or it's just ingrained so much in how you move that you can't feel it. In which case, you probably wanna spend some more time with some relaxation exercises and learn to be more aware of what your body's doing. So I hope that made sense. I hope that it was interesting and informative and I'll see you guys next time.